What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm headed to Panaro because I'm missing a bolt for my harness and they had a special order it for me. So I'm going to go and uh, pick it up and hopefully that way I can finally install my harness. ended up getting the bolt here it is this is what I was missing um, it's an extended bolt so pretty much the one that I have on the Evo is short which is the one that came with the Takata harness so I had to come get this at Pan Auto hooked it up you know like always if you guys are interested or need anything for your car hit them up this September 25th they're gonna be having a car sale show so if you guys are here in SoCal San Diego um, come check it out I'll set the address right up here so you guys know exactly where it's at. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna try to make it. So I'll see you guys here. Say what's up. All right, so yeah, check it out. This bolt right here. This is the one with the Takata harness. And then the one that Pan Auto ordered for me is this one right here. Check it out. So finally, I'll be able to put on my Takata harness, strap them onto the harness bar, and simple as that. Alright guys, so I made it home and here is my Takata harness. The cool thing about these is that these just buckle up like this and you're ready to go. So simple as that. I gotta remove that bolt down there and put on the new one. You guys can see the difference in size which wouldn't allow me to put the the smaller one that I had which is why I had to get this one now to just put it back together and bam it's on simple as that so the way that I'm gonna set up these harnesses is pretty simple I'm gonna put this one on the left and then this one's gonna be on the right. Kind of like the stock one where the little, this is the little buckle, just goes in there. Same side. I do have to take uh, this thing off, which is no problem because they're gonna be going through here. They're gonna be wrapped around and they'll be nice and secure. So before I move on to the second part, I do wanna show you guys that this also clips to another o-ring down there just like the one on this side right here pretty much just push it in and bam it clicks on and there it is now i gotta do the other side this one just clips on there like so it's on there nice and tight all right so i know you guys can probably figure this one out but i'm just gonna quickly show you how to set up the seat belts so that they come out like this and after we can just finish tightening to the way that we want them but the tricky part is this one right here so let me show you really quick how i do it Just like that, the harness is on. Check it out. Secured right here. It's nice and tight on that side. And I adjusted it to the way that would work best for me. I might have to like kind of tie these somewhere up here just so that they're not like dragging down. Um, but that's no big deal. 
these things came out pretty pretty nice look at that I've had these sitting in the garage for like four or five years just because I didn't have the harness bar and I had them tightened to the back seat so um, I have to take off the seat but pretty much these were like crisscrossed right here which I don't know there's a lot of people saying you should do that way and there's a lot of people saying you shouldn't do it that way but I ended up taking them off and then finally got myself a harness bar oh check it out these things feel freaking good ah I want to go drive the car now <laughs> what do you guys think this thing is sick I love it feels good I know I can barely move but like that's what's meant for the track right you shouldn't be like moving around in your seat I think it's streetable it's gonna be so sick driving with these things on I'm running out of time today but tomorrow I'll definitely go for a drive with these things on and I'll bring you guys along just for the experience the next day time to go for a little ride bring you guys along this is how it looks like all strapped on looks pretty good right so I noticed that you guys enjoy when I do the POV style so let's go on for a little ride with the harness so let's go for a little drive I usually go through these back roads just when I'm cruising enjoying the Evo or the other cars so let's go guys it's super fun having the harness on there um, there is one thing that I completely forgot about and it's a little beeping noise that indicates you don't have your seatbelt on but for whatever reason this car after you're driving let's say on the freeway um, it goes away so maybe it thinks you're on the track <laughs> anyway filling up back with 91 kind of sad I don't have 85 anymore but whatever it's all good maybe I'll get it again one day, but for now, Shadow's gonna be running on 91. 
Well, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, September 25th at Pan Auto. They're gonna be having sale and car show, so if you guys have some time, go check them out. I'll put the little flyer right here so you guys can get all the info. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.